Sí, yo también. ¿Cómo? Hi everyone, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, miss. I'm pretty good, thank you so much for asking. Good evening, everyone. Excellent.
permítanme, solo voy a enviarle un mensaje a una compañera a ustedes. All right, so welcome back to your English class, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you. Okay, let's get started with the class. So I think we have pretty much all of you. Yeah, we have quite a lot. Okay. Yes, let's get started. Today is Thursday, April 27th, 2023. <clears throat> It's officially the last class of the week, all right? En la última clase de la semana, no la última clase de la de, del curso. But at least you should be happy because you are going to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday free, right? Van a disfrutar de esos tres días sin clases, okay? So four days, cuatro días sin clases. So I hope you enjoyed a lot of your time, all right? Claro está, esos días, aunque no tengan clase, pues, virtual, Siempre tiene su clase asincrónica, which means that you will have work to do. Lo que significa que siempre van a tener trabajo que hacer, ¿verdad? En la plataforma, completándola and finish it up. So, yes, let's get started. Today is um, the class number eight. We are going to start with the platform, all right? A video from the platform. Wait, let me just fix this. Okay, I'm going to share with you the platform so that we can see the video. Hi, everyone. This class, we will learn a few rules to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential you know, to convey meaning. There are two very simple rules about stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress. It is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers, and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stressed syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50. 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, have, you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookfruit.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. So I think that they provide you the Bokaru link. Okay, if not, you can search for it. It's pretty simple to use. All right. And then you are going to upload the syllable stress that you've been practicing on the numbers. Right now, we are going to practice with it. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
101 102 103 and so on okay so let's have the next participant do i have a volunteer manuel excellent action 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 101 102 103 that's correct excellent thank you you were using the correct stress in the numbers that's great thank you let's go with miguel please action 11 12 16, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60. Your microphone, Miguel, it was off. Se, se le fue después de 60. Oh, pardon, 60, 70, 18, 19, 100, 101, 102, 103. That's correct. Thank you. Excellent, Miguel. Now, just repeat after me. Solo repita después de mi este. 30. 30. 30. Very good. 30. Yes. And you might be wondering, probablemente algunos se pregunten, teacher, pero cuando la, el video lo dijo, en el video se escuchaba 40, 50, 60. Y usted también cuando lo dijo, dijo 30, 40, 50. Pero yo lo pronuncio como 30, 40, 50. ¿Está incorrecto? No, no está incorrecto. La diferencia es que en el inglés norteamericano, que es el que ustedes están aprendiendo, se utiliza bastante la R. R to substitute the T. Utiliza bastante la R para sustituir a la T. Right? Entonces no decimos 30 porque eso suena más europeo que americano. Right? Entonces eh, lo correcto es 30, 40, and 50. Right? Y eso lo hacemos porque en realidad cuando hablemos, cuando tengamos una conversación, una long conversation, la persona va a notar que no somos europeos, pero sí va a notar que estemos diciendo malos números, all right? So, to avoid that mistake, we say 40, 50, 60. All right, let's go with the next one. Um, another volunteer, otro voluntario. This is your practice. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen Osorio, please. Action. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 24, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred and one, one hundred and two, one hundred and three. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with. <coughs> let me check with the next one. Uh, Evelyn Flores, please action. Okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 20, 20, 21, 22, 20, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Maravilloso, Evelyn. Thank you. Very good job. All right? So, yes, keep that in mind. Mantengan eso en la mente, all right? A veces, como se mencionaba en el video, tendemos a confundir el, el 80 con el 18. Ya he escuchado personas que por decirme 80 me dicen 18. So, we need to be careful with that, all right? When it's finished with E-E-N, si usted sabe que termina con E, con doble E, N, Entonces la pronunciación es 18, 16, 15, right? Si usted ve que termina con T-Y, entonces es 60, 70, 80, 90, right? So that we're not mistaken. Así no nos estamos equivocando. Very good. Everyone, thank you so much. Muchas gracias a los cuatro participantes que pasaron. Si tenemos tiempo al final de la clase, van a pasar los demás. Right now, we're going to listen to a video from the platform again. Vamos a escuchar el video de la plataforma eh, de nuevo, okay? Eh, la conversation. Here we go. Numbers and ages. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. Listen to the pronunciation. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Okay, that part was just a reinforcement, a reinforcement for the people who didn't participate. Eso era un refuerzo para los que no participaron, right? Y por si usted había participado y me decía 20, ya ahora le queda más que claro que es 20, all right? So very good, excellent, everyone. Let's go to the conversation. He's cute, all right? We have Emma and Jill. 
Who's that? He's my brother. Whoa, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. How old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Now, let's go with you, my dear students. Vamos con ustedes ahora. Okay, do I have volunteers? Tengo voluntarios? Volunteers, volunteers. Perfect. Uh, Danny, someone else? Alguien más? Because Danny is going to be Emma, and I need a Jill. Okay, Manuel Hernández. Oh, let me check. Déjenme ver quién levantó la mano. Okay, Manuel Campos. Excellent. You are Jill. Action. Uh, who is what? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's, what's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 year old. Uh, what's we like? I be his nice? Yes, he is, and he's very smart too. Uh, who is that? My sister Tammy, she's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Very good job, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Now let's practice with <coughs> Emma. Emma was Danny, right? So let's check in. Who's that? Repeat, Danny. Who's that? Who's that? That's correct. Very good. Thank you. That's the only one. Safola Onika. Thank you. All right. Let's go with the next one. Let me have Sandra Avalos. You are Emma. And Jensi Valle, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? It's my brother. Whoa. He's cute. What's his name? James, we call him Jim. Oh, how how old is he? He's 20, one years old. What he like? I uh, but he's nice. Yes, he is, and he is very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Very good job, thank you, that's correct. Now, when we say, cuando utilizamos la frase, I bet, right? Porque podemos utilizarla en muchos escenarios. I bet, nos referimos a yo apuesto, okay? Eh, no apuesto de dinero, sino que apuesto de que, lo que hacemos usualmente, right? Hypothetically talking. All right, hipotéticamente hablando, when you say, oh, te apuesto que tenés sueño porque tenés los ojos rojos, all right? Or I bet you are hungry because, I don't know, because you haven't eat. Te apuesto que tenés hambre porque no has comido, all right? That's the, the kind of bet. Now, let's move on with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Let me have Luis Rivas, you are Emma. Lizette Rodriguez, you are Jill. Action. Who, who that? Repeat, who's, who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's my brother. Wow, she's good. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how, how is, how old is she? <laughs> He is 21 years old. What he lied. I bet she's nice. Yes, she is. And she is very smart too. And who's that? My, 
My sister told me she's only a 12. She is the, the baby of, of the family. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your effort, both of you. Gracias por el esfuerzo, right? I know it's not that easy. Sé que aunque se escuche eh, una vez el audio y luego la teacher lo pronuncie y luego los compañeros lo hagan, tal vez no se nos hace tan simple adquirir la pronunciation, pero para esa parte viene el reinforcement, all right? Para esa parte viene el refuerzo que yo paso a darles ahorita. So, let's go with Lisette. Lisette, you are Emma, right? Eh, let me check. What's he like? What's he like? I bet he's nice. I bet he's no nice. Ese. No tiene ese, solo es I bet. I bet. I bet he's nice. Ajá, thank you. Very good, excellent. Um, that's pretty much it. En el caso de Luis, solo noté que aquí me dijo she's a only 12. Eh, le quitamos la porque no tiene, right? Solo es she's only 12, and that's it. Very good job. Thank you, both of you. Let's go with... Uh, let me have Miguel Angel. You are Emma. And Evelyn Flores, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him James. Oh, how old, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What he's like? I beat his night. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, both of you. All right, solo Miguel, eh, reforzamos la pronunciación en, en nice. Nice. Yes, very good. Nice. That's correct. That's the only thing. All right, everyone, thank you so much for participating. And uh, let's move on to the next one. As per usual, como es usual, I know that not all of you pass. Sé que no todos han pasado. Me hizo falta Mario Molina, Manuel Hernandez, Jacqueline, Carlos. All right, but you will have your opportunity on the following. So let's check. You might remember WH words, ¿verdad? Probablemente ustedes recuerdan las WH words, ya que las vimos al inicio de la semana. Let me have Mario Molina. Please tell me the meaning of who, what, and when. Okay. Who, asking about a person. What, asking about a thing or idea. 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 When asking about time. Thank you, Manuel Hernandez. Uh, where, why, and how? Where asking about a place. Why asking about a reason. How asking about a way of doing something. Very good. Thank you. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the structure. W H <coughs> questions with B. Let me have. Carlos Salvador. Carlos, you ask and let me check. Y ya le digo quién le contesta. And Jackie, Jackie, you answer, okay? Salvador pregunta, Jackie contesta. Action. Hey, what's your name? Jackie a la one. Jackie a la two. Jackie a la three. Okay, we don't have Jacqueline. Oh no, I know I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I know you can't. All right, I'm sorry. You already are warming about this. I'm sorry. Let's go with um, let me have Mario Molina. Okay, so Carlos, you ask, Mario Molina, you answer. Action. What's your name? My name is Jill. Where are you from? I am from Canada. How are you today? I'm just fine. Who's that? 
He's my brother. How old is he? He's 21. What he like? He's very nice. Who are they? They are my classmates. Where are they from? They are from Rio. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Excellent, thank you. Take into consideration that the last question, <clears throat> all right? Tomemos en consideración que la, Jesus, que la última pregunta, what's real like? It's when you are basically describing how is a place, right? Ahí tiene el noun río, pero en realidad puede utilizar otro noun usted como, hey, what's, uh, how are the mountains like, right? Como son las montañas, all right? Um, how was the weather like? Cómo era el ambiente, el clima, all right? Dependiendo de esa pregunta, usted contesta. If it is in past or in present. So, very good job. Thank you so much for intonation, Carlos, with pronunciation. Uh, I think that in this level, you will notice how important it is to have a good level of pronunciation during the questions. Creo que es en este periodo donde se darán cuenta eh, lo importante que es tener un buen nivel de pronunciación al momento de hacer preguntas, ¿ok? Porque no todas tienen una entonación elevada, como lo hemos hecho con estas. Hay algunas que no tienen elevación, elevación en las preguntas. So, let's check. Now, let's move on with the following. Guiding structure, Daniel Rivera, please tell me the guiding structure. Guiding structure. We each word plus verb to be plus pronoun slash complement plus and interiorization question. 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 Mm -hmm. question. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. All right. So let's notice. Eh, copiamos esta estructura, please. Esta estructura para las WH questions, all right? With verb to be. In el verb to be. Let's copy this one. Esta es peculiar porque esta les dicen que pueden poner o el pronoun o pueden agregar el complemento un solo, right? So you may notice which one would you like to use, all right? Ustedes van a ver qué les gustaría utilizar. Eh, por ejemplo, la pregunta de what's real like, esa tiene complemento, right? Doesn't have a pronoun. Whereas, uh, how is your friend? Eh, it has the pronoun, okay? So let's copy this and let me know whenever you finished. Finish. Perfect, thank you. There you go. Let's move on. Now we pass to adjectives, all right? And I think this is the last uh, video that we have from the platform. Este es el último video, lo vemos rapidito, practicamos el vocabulary y luego nos vamos al midterm exam. Okay, now let's listen to the adjectives. Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. <laughs> He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend. Okay, we have the audio of the adjectives. Let's move on to the PowerPoint. So we have the following. <laughs> He's really tall. Él es super alto, right? He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's 
handsome. She's pretty. They are, ya juntos los dos, they are good looking. Son muy apuestos. She's really friendly. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. She's talkative. No es talkative. Si me menciona la L, no está correcto. Solo tiene que ser T-A. Talkative. He's yeah. quiet. Yes, very good. Let's start with Manuel Campos, please. And after Manuel, Lizeth Rodriguez. Action, Manuel. He's really tall. He's short. He's a little heavy. He's thin. He's handsome. He's really friendly. They are good looking. She's very pretty. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. He's shy. Great, excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. What does what does means uh, thin um talkative? Thin is a person that is that it has almost no a uh, craziness on his body. All right, una persona que no tiene gras mucha grasa en su cuerpo, o sea, una persona delgada. Right, eso es thin. También existe skinny, que se utiliza para decir lo mismo. Thin and skinny son sinónimos. Thank you. Y la otra era, me dijo... Talkative. 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 Parla en China. All right. Someone <laughs> who talks a lot. Alguien que habla muchísimo. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Now, let's check another one. Vamos a ver, Lizeth. Hi. <laughs> Uh, she's really tall. Oh, Lisette. <laughs> he's. He's really tall. She's short. He's. Sorry. <laughs> es que siempre me pongo nerviosa. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Oh, qué bárbara. Listo, no va a terminar el curso y usted va a estar nervioso. Don't worry. No se preocupe, right? He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. They're good looking. She's very pretty. She's really friendly. He's quick. Quiet. Quiet. He's quiet. She's she is serious. He's funny. She is shy. Very good, Lisette. Excellent. Thank Great you. Great job. Very good. Now let's go with Jensi Valle, please. Solo antes de que pase Jensi, quiero recalcarles algo. Cuando usted se refiere a alguien del género masculino y quiere decir que esa persona es guapa o atractiva, va a decir, he's handsome. All right? No me pueden decir, he's pretty. He's, um, I don't know, he's beautiful. No. Pueden decir, he's charming, es encantador, o pueden decir, he's handsome. Pero no me pueden cambiar los adjectives, all right? De igual manera, a una mujer no le podríamos decir, she's handsome, all right? Solo al decir eso se me imagina una mujer con barba. She's handsome. All right, so no, we can't use it that way. No podemos utilizarlo así. Action, Mr. Bayen. He's a really tall. He's a short. He's a little heavy. He's thin. He's handsome. He's very pretty. He's quiet. He's a talkative. She's shy. She's funny. She's serious. She's already friendly. Right? Repeat. She's talkative. Talkative. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Baye. There you go. Let's go with <coughs> Kevin Chicas, please. Action. He's really tall. 
He's short. She's tiny. Tiny. Oh, tiny. Tiny. Sorry. Thin. She. Ah, thin. Pero, pero mira, me quieren. Solo le explico algo. Ahí sería thin. Meta thin. La, la lengua entre los dientes. Thin. All right. Thin. Okay. Porque también existe tiny, que se escribe tiny, tiny, que significa pequeñito. Pero no es lo mismo, right? Okay. She's thin. She's 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 thin. 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 Sorry. She's a little bit heavy. She's really friendly. They are good looking. He's handsome. She's very pretty. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's she's shy. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Mr. Chicas. Now let's move on to the following. Uh what are adjectives uh, used for? Para que utilizamos los adjectives. Veámoslo. Sorry, I have stopped presenting. Perdón, dejé de presentar. <coughs> so let me have Carlos Salvador. Okay, Luis, don't worry, no se preocupe, Luis, comprendo. Carlos, please read the information. Adjectives are. Adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns, all green and cheerful. For example, of adjective. It means be useful to think of adjectives as describing words. Very good. Thank you. So when someone asks you, hey, what are adjectives? Si alguien les pregunta, what are adjectives? No le van a dar todo este texto. Solo pueden decir, oh, adjectives are describing words. Son palabras que describen, all right? The same in Spanish. They work the same. Describen a los nombres y, escribe, y describen al sujeto del pronombre también, all right? Nouns or pronouns. So, uh, let's check some examples. Voy a ponerles algunos ejemplos. Let me have Kevin Ernesto. Please read the four sentences. My sister is short. Anna is heavy. Santi and... Um, Eunice? Eunice. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la tercera palabra de la...? Eunice. Ah, Eunice. Ah, gracias. Santi and Eunice are tiny. Y am a light short. Little short. Little short. Yes, very good. All right, yes. En inglés se dice Eunice y en español Eunice. That's my name too. Ese también es mi nombre, ¿ok? Febe Eunice. So there you go, my dear students. Uh, let's move on to the platform. We are going to work on the midterm exam. Vamos a trabajar en el midterm. Let's check. Todavía tenemos tiempecito para terminarlo. ¿Quiénes ya finalizaron con el midterm? Raise your virtual hand. Solo levanten su mano virtual, All right? Okay, Carlos. In my case, I was waiting for you because I suppose that we have to do together. So <laughs> no, it's not that it's supposed. You could uh have taken advantage and work on it, but it's okay if you work with me, Kevin. All right, no hay ningún problema. Excelente, sí, pero y a los que avanzaron también excelente, right? Pues ahorita ya pueden estar un poquito más tranquilos durante la clase. For starters, para iniciar, la sección A no la voy a hacer con ustedes porque es el único listening que ustedes tienen, que no es video, sino que es listening. Entonces, ustedes tienen que ponerlo once, twice, third times, if you want, las veces que sea necesario, pero ustedes practican solo esa parte, ¿ok? No la practico yo con ustedes. Yo solo me voy a meter en la parte gramatical. So here we go, complete the conversation. Um, Manuel Hernández, read the instructions, please. Complete the conversation with the possessive, my, your, his, our, or her. Thank you. So we have, Math, Tony, this is my friend. Imagínense, para poder completar esto, tienen que ir poniendo su imaginación, all right? Eh, yo soy Math. Estoy hablando con mi amigo Tony. Y quiero presentarla a ella, a Jennifer Miller. 
Entonces, ¿cuál possessive adjective voy a utilizar, Kevin Ernesto? Para referirme a una mujer. Thank you, Kevin and Daniel. Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. her. Yes, her. Now we have Jennifer is in. Ya hay, ahí, como estamos hablando, ya presentamos a Jennifer. Quiero decirle que está en nuestra clase. William, eh, William Castro, please. Jennifer is in. William Alawan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was Ya iba, ya iba yo. Okay, I... It's our. Ah? It's our. Our, all right, excellent. Our. our. Number three, Sandra Ábalos. What's... Volviendo a hablar de Jennifer. Pero ahora Jennifer va a contestar, entonces tengo que pensar con qué le voy a hacer esa pregunta, Sandra. Her. All right. Imagínese que yo, le, yo te digo, ¿cuál es tu nombre? No puedo utilizar her, Sandra. Yes, very good. Thank you. No apaguen su micrófono, all right? Traten, no se me queden solo. All right, no, you need to try, okay? So here we go. Let's check, let's check. Bravo, very good job. You got them right. Todas las tuvieron excelente, lo felicito. Very good. Okay, let's move on to the following. Vamos a la siguiente. Complete the conversation, instructions, fill in the blanks with the correct form of being. La, correcta, la forma correcta del verbo cero estar. So here we go. Uh, let's start with... Check. Evelyn Flores, excuse me. Yo llego y le pregunto a usted si usted es la señora Brown. ¿Cómo haría la pregunta? ¿Qué verb to be va a utilizar? Are you Mrs. Yes. Brown? Perfect, thank you. Are you Miss Brown? Thank you. Ajá, Kevin, Daniel, no. B. Ahí es ir a dejar el dinero. Eh, igual para lo normal, va. Eh, para lo... <laughs> That's not Kevin, Daniel. Ajá, Kevin. Tell me. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Ajá, exactly. No, I'm not. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. No, I'm not. Vamos a ver si toma bien esa. Si no, vamos a ver cuál es. Um, Karen Osorio. Over there. My name is Nicole Parker. Entonces, como yo no soy, ¿verdad? Eh, la señora Brown. Pero sí le digo a dónde está la señora Brown. ¿Cuál utilizaría? Ella está allá. Keith. Here. All right. She's over there. Very good. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, vamos a preguntarle a Mario Molina. Well, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Es un placer conocerlo, Mario. Es un... Ah, bueno. It's nice to meet you. It's... It's, porque necesitamos... Ah, it's... All right. Let's check. Nice to meet you too. Veamos si nos salen bien. Dios mío. All right. All of them are bad. No, but it's not because of that. No es que estén malas. Eh, vamos a ver. Let's show the answers. Es el apostrophe. All right. De hecho, alguien me estaba escribiendo ahora, creo que fue... Alguien me estaba escribiendo porque me decía que tenía problemas con el apóstrofe. Si se fijan en el apóstrofe que yo tengo en mi teclado en español, sí, eh, va hacia no, acá. No, no, no. All right. Ah, le dije la contracción. 
Baby, yes. I. You try to correct these answers and and prove to send to one more time. I want to see what. Okay, sure. Here I am. Ahorita estoy en eso. Okay. Yeah. Because I need to ask this. This. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, there you go. Okay. Those are the right ones. Lo que afecta es el apóstrofe. Si se fijaron, tenemos exactamente la misma respuesta que ustedes me iban brindando, pero el apóstrofe afecta. Entonces, yo lo que les recomiendo, exactly, Kevin, that's correct, lo que puso ahí en el, en el chat box, es buscar el apóstrofe eh, correcto o lo pueden copiar y pegar de, de cualquier lado donde lo encuentren, all right? Because it's different. El de nosotros va hacia acá y el de ellos va hacia acá. Creo que queda como recto, así. Let me know when you finish. Me avisan cuando finalicen para mover. The slide. Okay, let's move on. Letter D, check the correct response. Goodbye, have a nice day. Uh, let's listen to Lisette Rodriguez. I'm just fine, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. ¿Cuál de estas tres escogería, Lisette? It's nice to meet you. All right, pero veamos el contexto, Lisette. Adiós, que tenga buen día. ¿Usted le diría, no. es un placer conocerte? No, not. Exactly. Entonces, ¿qué le diré? Thanks, thanks, you too. Bravo, there you go, thank you. Luis Rivas, see you later. Okay, bye bye. Perfect, simple as that. Carlos Salvador, hi, how are you? Not bad, thanks. Very good. Kevin Chicas, good evening, Beth. Uh, hello, how are you, Mr. Smith? Good, excellent. Let's check. Bravo, very good, excellent, everyone. Congrats. That's correct. Great answers. You are killing it. Stan arrasando. You are on fire. <laughs> you have good answers. Now, let's check. Let's move on to the following. Complete the questions and answers correctly. So what are, let's listen to Evelyn Flores. What are, this, this or this? This. Very good, thank you. Jackie, ah no, perdón, Jackie está enferma. Okay, sorry. Mario Molina. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's earrings. All right, veamos, Mario. Esta está en plural, entonces uh -huh. no podríamos utilizar it. Mm, bueno, tire. Excellent, very good, thank you. Jensi eh, Valle, number two. Are these? Are these your sunglasses? William Castro, number two, B, no. Your mic, William. Sorry. <laughs> there. Right, no, they are not. <laughs> Thank you. Miguel Angel is. This. Very good. Is this a notebook? Thank you. Uh, Kevin Ernesto Garcia. No, it isn't. It's. It. Ah. Repeat, Kevin. Se le apagó el micrófono y no, no brindó la respuesta. Ah, perdón. Sería. ¿Qué artículo va a utilizar usted? 
definit definitivo o indefinido? Indefinido o definido. ¿Ah? Sería indefinido. ¿Y cuál? ¿A o an? Ok, let's check. There you go. Thank you so much to the ones that participate. Excellent. You have good answers. You are killing it, as I told you before. That's correct. You have them all. Si ahorita tendrían que irlo haciendo la par mía, ¿ok? <clears throat> Los que no lo han hecho. Y si no, y si se van quedando atrás, pues tienen que ver la recording para poder, eh, para poder completarlo later on. Y la recording la vengo subiendo como a las 10 y 15, 10 y media, around. Ok, where are the keys? Vamos a ver. Eh, Manuel Hernández, where are the keys? Options. On. Thank you. Eh, Miguel Ángel, is the CD player behind the briefcase? No, it's not. It's... Next to. Thank you. Evelyn Flores, where is the newspaper? It's... Newspaper. It's under. Under the briefcase. And Kevin Chicas. Thank you. Kevin Chicas, are the books? In front of. All right, thank you. In front of the CD player? Bravo, excellent, everyone. Very good job. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Tan sencillo como exprimir un limón. Very good. There you go. Let's move on to the next one. I think this one is the last one. Creo que esta es la última, ¿verdad? Ah, no, falta otra. Okay, complete the conversation with the correct answers. Hi, Rashi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we. Vamos a ver, eh, Daniel Rivera. Yes, we are. Yes, very good. Thank you. Uh, Luis Rivas. Oh, you from Tokyo? ¿Cómo haría la pregunta si sabe que tiene el sujeto you? Y tiene que utilizar el verb to be. ¿Qué verb to be utilizaría? No, no, no. no. Solo tenemos tres verb to be. Am, you, uh, perdón. Am, are, is. ¿Cuál utilizaría de los tres? Is. Is you from Tokyo? ¿Le suena coherente? Is you from Tokyo? No. Entonces, no puede ser am tampoco. ¿Qué opción le queda? A Luisito, we need to practice, we need to practice. All right, Karen Osorio, no. No, eh, no, we're not. I know we're not, thank you. Manuel Campos. Manuel Campos, a la one, yes, there you are. They, they from? <coughs> We are from, right? Oh. Very good, excellent. Thank you, y'all. That's correct. Vaya. La última parte se las voy a dejar a ustedes porque tampoco vamos a dar copia de todo, right? Eh, voy a tomarles las, las asistencias antes de que se vayan porque casi se me olvida tomarles la asistencia. Okay. Let's go with 
martes no. jueves 27 ok Beatriz mm -hmm. she's not present Carlos Salvador Evelyn Mercedes Freddy present. absent eh, Jacqueline Beatriz she's in here um, José David Rosales, he's absent. José Mario Molina. I am here. Yes, you are. Okay, very good. Karen Lisette Osorio Martínez. Present. Eh, Kevin Alexander Batres Deras. Kevin Antonio Chicas Guevara. I'm here. Kevin Daniel Rivera Calderón. Kevin Ernesto García. I'm here. Okay, very good. Eh, Luis Alfonso Rivas, he's present. Present. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Uh -huh. Manuel de Jesús, he's not. Present. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Manuel Campos, is that you? Yes. Ok, es que siempre se tiene como Manuel de Jesús. Ok. Eh, let's go with Marlene Elisette Rodríguez. Present. Miguel Ángel Galán. Present. Sandra Beatriz Ábalos. Present. William Alexander Castro. Present. Y Jensi Asensio Valle. I'm present. Bravo, everyone. Only two missing. All right, my dear students. It was a pleasure to see you. And please take care. Rest, descansen, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, take care. No, on Tuesday. Martes. All right, on Tuesday. Bye, take care. Bye. 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 Bye.